Do you think some of the public attacks on Manchin uh, could backfire on, on the president or no, Democratic you know, leaders? I, I think some of that. No, you know, Chuck, that, a lot of that is overstated. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of, there are important questions that are being asked in West Virginia by his own hometown voters and, uh, and, and newspapers. I'm in a state, Chuck, that has an, on average, a six year lifespan longer than West Virginians have. This shouldn't be possible and shouldn't be uh, suitable for Senator Manchin or anyone living in West Virginia. There are provisions in this bill that West Virginians want on child care, on health care, on climate. They know that an average family of, of four in West Virginia earning $40,000 will save $10,000 per year on drugs, on access to health, and on child care uh, based on this bill. I think the senator needs to be accountable to that. And let's get out of this whole overstated thing about the White House mentioning his name in a letter. Everyone in America knows that this hangs on Joe Manchin. So let's, let's get past the performative aspect of this and dig into the substance that Senator Manchin has been, I think, you know, powerful in expressing yeah. in these uh, last 48 hours. That's where the opportunity lies. But, Patrick, what would Twitter be without the performative art of ridiculous <laughs> rhetoric? Anyway, Patrick Gaspard, uh, president of the Center for American Progress, appreciate you taking some time. Thank you, sir.